When I came here to the States, I think drawing was my security blanket. I don't think I would have survived the change had not been for drawing. I would just draw images of my, my village, whether it be houses, whether it be animals, plants. Through art, I felt like I was somehow breathing because of the culture clash that I encountered here. I did not know there was a world out there called art, much less that you could survive as an artist. That just happened. I used to call it that everything I've done in my life was an accident, but now I know it's a blessing. I switched those words. The ideas come in different ways. Sometimes reading, I love to read, and I, I, I would say that most of my inspiration comes from that. It's, it's basically just interpreting in my way through images, writing a resume of what I read. So sometimes finishing up a piece may generate another idea. And when I blank out, just go through books, listen to music, read poetry, look at somebody else's work so that the idea may come and then create another piece. All your pieces are, are unique, special, because they take a lot of your time and you choose your pieces, but it's just like your children. They're all different, but they're less they're your children. You love them because of the differences. In my pieces, I treat them the same. I select the theme. Every, every single one is well thought of. I'm, I'm hopeful that it will last a lifetime and that not only I will create a beautiful work of art, but that I will create a good tool, a good instrument for teachers, for historians, for theologians, for anybody who uses religious imagery for their, in their own field. So I'm conscious of all that. So every piece is very special to me. Every piece brings you closer to God. I mean, you, you live it. I come in here and the energies that are here bring me closer to God. Painting is my language. So I try to write into my painting so that people can actually visually see something, they can read into something, and that will be a bridge to connect. In here is my piece in the studio. I create best way I can using all the elements in art. Once the piece leaves the space and it goes on that journey to its permanent place, it is no longer mine. I go to parishes where I see the pieces that I created, but I don't see them as mine. They don't belong to me anymore. And the piece that I created here as a work of art now has become sacred because the people have made it sacred. I didn't do that. My name is Lalo Garcia, and I am an LA Catholic.